couldn't see but there's a line up in there and I don't want to wait so we're gonna go test out this lens uh, the best lens that nobody talks about and uh, yeah hopefully it dies down by the time um, while I'm ready to eat so yeah stop abusing my viewers about the action is that the bottom screen lifts it up so it's kind of a bit higher than your typical so are you making a video about the 135 or about the action good point touche yeah. we're talking about the canon not even the canon just any 135 mil lens i picked this up for 900 dollars you know brand new this would have cost like closer to 3000 and the rf variation cost three almost 4000 3800 i think that's a lot of money but this lens I don't know why more people don't talk about this lens you've got your classic staple the 50 mil uh, in this case an f1.4 but you also have uh, on like the super extended version 135 now of course you've got your 85 in between I have no idea if the microphone is picking me up I am Maybe. so sorry the water in the background that's not my fault wait I don't give a shit I'm not editing this wait you're not no, but seriously, this lens, ah, oh, love it. It's amazing. It's okay. So I love the seventy. I love the seventy to two hundred. However, big heavy lens. Ah, uh, I can get this. It's lighter, and it's an f two. That's like one whole stop of light more than the f two eight. It's pretty good. Plus, with the compression you get at one thirty five, mm, the shots. I think you've already seen some shots. Like we would have thrown some in. I would have thrown in some photos, but you get some nice compression. Uh, for instance, come to check out these photos. Like, there's a great, great long strip of just, well, lights, and it's gonna make some really nice depth of field. Uh, and I'll show you the difference between a 50 mil and a 135 mil. So, here's that. So I hope that those examples uh, give, give a demonstration of how amazing this lens is for portraiture work. And if you are going to get, like if you're choosing between the 85 and the 135 and the 135 sheep, yeah, okay, just go with the 135. That's what I did. The 85 was 1500 second hand. Um, yeah. And I was like, nah, we'll save $500 and go with the 135. Plus, you then get uh, pretty much the same same-ish look and compression of a 200 mil and again 7200 best lens ever I just love this thing like the fact I can just put it on my car and get weird unique angles like this make me my smile so I think I might just film all my vlogs like this now okay as someone who's never had hot pot before let me walk you through it we grab bowl grab tongs and fill it up with stuff okay. and then they cook it in a broth 
Yeah. Got it? Okay. Now, do you want to share or do you want to get your own? Let's share. Okay, good idea because I always make like way too much. Yeah. Bam. Any food allergies I need to be aware of. All right. That's a good thing too because there's only one bowl left. So I'm glad you said share. All right. First impressions. Hot. Yeah, it's called hot pot. Yeah. It's funny how that works, hey? Yeah. Hot. Yeah, hot. It looks delicious and it smells delicious. Oh, it's, it's gonna be awesome. What's it taste like? Kind of like meatloaf. Okay. Okay. Also, there's like dark blood jelly here. Look, look, look. I've never tried it. You've never tried it? I've never tried anything like that. I've never even tried peeking dub. So it's going to be a bit of an experience for both of us. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not sure how I feel about the texture. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But yeah, I don't, it's not like something I'm going out of my way to eat again. Like, I'm not gonna be like, ooh, double jelly, look at that, I how tasty. I don't eat it. It looks like, I don't like the taste, it actually. It does look like pudding, but it tastes. Yeah.